if the swell is 10 feet or more, probably shouldn't be in the ocean. In fact, most experienced surfers wouldn't be in the ocean unless it was the exact perfect spot at the exact perfect time or maybe they have a, a wave runner or jet ski to assist them, um, these kind of things. Yeah, so boy, going on year 17 out there on the reef and uh, tomorrow looks like it definitely could be one of the swells of the decade for sure. One of those swells that you get about every 10 years. The only big question mark right now that I see in the, in the conditions is the swell direction because the storm path is kind of spinning away from us um, and it's heading north. So we're going to get a little bit more west, southwest tomorrow. Um, the swell we had a few days ago is pretty much primarily west. Uh, with really favorable wind conditions. It was, ocean was just real buttery and, and there was a ton of waves had by all out there. Just, you know, 10 out of, oh, 10 out of 10. So tomorrow's gonna be a big day. This is 17, going on 17 years out on the reef and looks like it could be the swell of the decade tomorrow. If all the conditions align, it's gonna be really big. We know that wind. <laughs> Yeah, um, just radio <laughs> protocol, if we're going to the beach and we need no, Stefan there, yeah. uh, we're transporting. What do you mean? Just if, if we have somebody that is hurt? seriously hurt. We're transporting we are to the hospital? To, transporting to, to the him, beach. Yes. to the yeah. beach. Yeah. Because then, he's meeting us on the beach, Correct. and then we're working on them until the paramedics get there. Correct. To right. transport them to the hospital. Correct. Yep. So just so you know how the protocol right. is. Today's the day. Right Swell of a decade. We're all here. We're all prepped, we're all ready. Spirits are good. We got Stefan, our medic, gonna be on the beach just in case something happens. I got Ollie as my driver, I got Drake as my safety, and uh, it's on. So 2010, I was uh, teaming up with Keith Galbraith. We had been towing together for about two or three years, and we saw this swell on the charts, reading about, similar to what we're seeing today, 23 at 17, 23 at 18, we knew it was going to be big. We had no idea how big it was going to be because we had never experienced that before. And when we woke up in the morning and stood up on the cliffs and looked out and abroad, it was mind blowing, freaky, scary. So there was a lot of anticipation that morning in getting out there. I think tomorrow the priorities are going to be the safety of everyone that's out there because it's not going to be about the fame or the big waves or any of that, it's gonna be a day that everyone out there is, you know, driving or surfing for their lives. Oh, 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 oh. Hey! Not sure how many people are in town for this or what's going on with regards to all the, 
all the hype. Um, I'm kind of out of the loop a little bit just because I'm injured right now and uh, I'm able to drive a ski, but I, I hurt myself about a week ago towing the beach break and uh, the lip decided that I needed to take a little break for a little while, so I'm taking a break. Oh, dude, my knee's jacked. <laughs> I got hit so hard by the lip on that wipeout. The lip just drilled me so hard in my knee that like instantly I felt really like 10 out of 10 pain. But I'm, ex I'm excited to still be involved and, and help out where I can. Um, I think that my knowledge and driving experience out there is going to going to allow allow people to be put in the spot, and then it's up to them to to do what they love to do. And uh, we made it through the beach break okay. We got out in the lineup, and the first thing Keith said was, "Get on the rope. You're up. Let's do this. You know, get a wave under your belt and feel it, and you're going to get the biggest wave of your life." And uh, before I knew what happened, he whipped me into this monstrous wave, the biggest wave, of, that ended up being the biggest wave of my life. And uh, it just, it was so surreal. It just, it, it, I could hear so much explosion around me, yet I felt so calm while I was, while I was on the wave. And uh, when, I, when I pulled out at the end, I was just like, I was just blown away. I was shocked. You know, talking with uh, Will Scooden today too, I think he kind of said it best, like, you know, I think I think tomorrow is is more of like you're out there because you love it. You're not out there to you're not trying to prove anything. You're not there's no like you're out there because you love doing what you're doing, which is surfing big waves. And uh, I think that's pretty important to remember because if you go out tomorrow with any kind of an ego or any kind of a you know I got to show somebody up, like bad things are gonna happen. Once Will gets here and he's hooked up, then we'll all head over. And well, now he's talking like 2 o'clock. No, dude, he needs to get here now. I know. Can you tell him, please? Can you text him? Like, just because we we want to get out there before it's pulsing. Can you text him now? Tell him. Tell him. Tell him. Tell him. Tell him. I'm sitting around having breakfast till noon. Yes. He just said it's on from 2 to dark. I'm not waiting till... And I agree, but but it's also tides pushing in from 2 to dark. Yeah. Like, it's low tide in, in an hour. Tell him he needs to get down here now and prepping up. Okay. You know, there's going to be carnage tomorrow, whether it's on the beach or whether it's out in the water, like it's going to happen with the magnitude of this swell and, and with all the things that can potentially go wrong. Like it's just, just like our previous experience leading up to the last week. Like, you know, I was towing small breach break and hurt myself. You know, Eric sucked a rope two days ago into the intake. Like you got to hope for the best and plan for the worst and, uh, and hopefully meet somewhere in the middle there to, to get, uh, to get in and out safely. Hey, how you doing, Will? Staying stoked. Right on. I am. I am staying stoked as well. It is a beautiful day, and I would say the from what I've seen so far, the ocean looks even cleaner than I thought it would be. Like everything is is lining up perfect right now. So um, I agree. Yeah. I'm just gonna call it. It's swell of the decade right now. Today is the day. So what do you think? Like an hour out still? We're probably an hour outside of like maybe like. The students will be there is 45 minutes. The okay. The will be there is like an hour. You know, it was an amazing feeling. It was an amazing accomplishment at 50 years old, having started toe surfing when I was 40. My goal was to ride the biggest wave I could before I retired, you know? And so I did it, I guess. At that time, I thought that was it. Okay, I achieved my goal, and I'm pretty much going to cruise through the rest of the my career and just sit back and help other people and do water safety. Feeling a little nervous. I'd be lying if I said otherwise. Uh, the buoys are currently in our window at 22 feet, 20 seconds. And that storm is looking like the perfect storm. The storm of a decade since 2010 when I rode my last giant wave on South Reef. The anticipation is going through the roof. I'm not shitting bricks, I'm shitting buildings. <laughs> How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. Yeah. Feeling good, yeah. I feel like we've been training for this, we're ready. Just take it slow and get you the perfect waves and have a great day. Yeah, we're gonna have a good day. We're gonna play it smart, we're gonna be safe and we're all gonna score giant waves. But I still had the burning passion in me as the years went on and I still had the desire and I felt like something was missing. I felt like there was still another wave out there that's waiting for me. And that wave that I'm talking about is coming tomorrow. All right. Well, I just say I would just say hustle because, yeah. But I would I would say don't don't dilly dally because low tides at 
and the swell is here already like it's here like i i just saw everything i needed to see and it's only going to continue to get bigger and i agree though we still got to pace ourselves and be patient but it's here now it'd be good to go out there before the beach break is completely maxing and and before and to get us some warm-up waves like it's important to get a couple warm-up waves before it's 60 foot so I'm treating this just like I would be if I was coaching my high school team. And, and you're an athlete right now, and the only thing you have to do is show up and surf, right? Right. So close your eyes, take a couple deep breaths, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Just try to relax, try to just think all positive. See yourself on the wave, feel the ocean, feel the energy out there, and just breathe and know that this is what you've been training for. Like there's nothing that we have not done to this point right now that you are not ready for, that you're not prepared for because you've already done it. Like you've already done this before. It's gonna be big today, we know that, there's no question. You've done all the preparation to get to this point and everything's gonna work out because we've had all the all the steps along the way to be to this point right now and-, and uh, There's no reason we can't do it. No, exactly. Yeah, we have yeah. everything so, we need. But like I said, it's all confidence today and, and, and like I said, I'm gonna put you right in the spot. I'm gonna put you right where you wanna be, okay? And, and, and just make sure when you let go of the road, it's all, it's all about fun and joy today. It's all about having fun and enjoying the moment and enjoying the experience because if there's any ego involved or any, any doubt or anything like that, then we're doing it for the wrong reasons. So it's, it's you out there and it's, and it's Will and Austin and whoever else comes out, but it's on. Yeah. So, so yeah, you got Amen. this. Amen. Yeah. We got hey, this. Thank we're going to achieve greatness today, bro. Greatness. Yeah. Greatness. Swell of a decade. You. Yes, yeah. Decade. Let's do this. Zealand out.
listen, we're only going out for two hours. It's, uh, it was a dream day yesterday. I mean, we really got to take our time. I'm here training uh, Next Generation New York big wave guy. Um, this kid Austin, so it's great to see him perform at the level that he did. And and uh, just everybody, you know, Eric coming back from, from, a, from a heavy, you know, few years. And just to see him achieve his goals was uh, incredible. Anytime you see someone that works hard achieve their goals in any sport, Board or anything it's it's uh you know it's a breath of fresh air so i think we got to watch and witness a lot of people achieve their goals yesterday and just to come together as a team to to facilitate uh you know that experience and make sure it's safe it was uh was amazing so yeah i mean this is kind of like we just got to keep it safe today i know we're going back out right now and this is a little bit like, you know, more cake. You want more cake, so we gotta be careful today, but um, yeah, stoked. Yesterday was incredible. I had a good time. I love Tom. Um, but yeah, Ozzy Surf Shop has always been there ever since I moved here and uh, they've always supported me and everything that I do and getting me the best best gear, the safest gear and uh, always keeping me up <laughs> up to speed on, on the latest technology and everything coming into the industry. So that's been awesome and then um, having 10 Barrel uh, support everything that I do and, and kind of getting that national coverage has been awesome. This winter has been the first winter that uh, Eric and I have been, you know, locked in as, as partners, like I said, just because Dan's out of it. So, you know, having Toe Surfer and, and his logistical, international um, knowledge and, and contacts has been really, really nice. I love, I love my Murdy Toe Board over here. Uh, I've gotten my best barrel of my life on that thing. Dan Murdy, uh, one of our local shapers here in Oregon, um, just does a phenomenal job if any of you guys need a a long board, a short board, whatever it is, he'll, he'll make it all and, and you'll have the best glass job and the best graphics you've ever seen.